Um, hello everybody, hope you can hear me okay. Um, you don't very often see me, you just see all my boring videos on uh, YouTube. But for those of you who don't know, we bought a Swift 454 about 18 months ago from Loudoun in Nottingham. Um, we've travelled all over Europe, um, most of Europe in the van, but we've had horrendous, horrendous problems with it. Um, all in all, I would honestly say there's probably 70 things wrong with it, some of which are duplicates or even triplicates. Um, but I think the current total trips to the dealer, and this is just for the motorhome, is about 19, and it's been to the factory once for six weeks for a laminate flooring. Um, I've, I've just started this video because the effect that this has on people, you buy a motorhome for what was ours, nearly £50,000. Um, we've had all these problems. When we've gone back to the dealer, they have sorted them. Loudons have sorted problems out, but they've come back and back, um, or other problems have been created. Um, I, I'm, I'm at a point where um, I think we're going to have to take them to court for everything. All the fuel, all the trips, loss of use. We couldn't use our frequent traveller ticket because the motorhome was at Swift. Um, numerous, numerous problems. And today, if, well, you've probably seen on YouTube, I've got water coming in the back, which we highlighted 10 months ago that the rear panel wasn't fitted properly. But I've come to the gym to try and just clear my head really to think what to do next. Um, but I think the only option now, I will talk to Landon's, but I think the only option is to take them to court. Um, I'll get all the paperwork together. I'll follow the process by video because I think there's quite a few people, not only with Swift I don't understand, but with others that probably want to know how to do this process. Um, so I'll do a step-by-step -step on a number of videos for you. Um, hopefully you do it before you get into a state like I am now where it's just an absolute joke. Um, we've even, there's somebody in our house at the moment, we've rented it out. So when the motorhome goes to Loudoun's on Monday, we either live in the awning tent or we go and book into a hotel. So we don't even have anywhere then. Uh, some of you might say that's my fault, but uh, I had confidence that the motorhome had been free of a few problems for a couple of months. We haven't had to book it into the dealer. So but there you go, on my head be it, I suppose. But I, I just wanted to do this video because I feel quite well emotional or whatever you call it. it it's really doing me in, but I'll get my head together. Um, I'll do some videos, I'll let you know what's happening, but um, please don't let them walk all over you. We have to an extent, we've been too nice. It has been sorted in many instances, but you've got to draw a line somewhere. And uh, if I had a pencil, I'd draw it right in front of you now. So, um, okay, keep an eye on my posts, they won't be all the time, but um, I'll try and talk you through the process and, and what happens to us if we get anything from it, if it's all a waste of time, if uh, if we've actually got any power out there to get our money back or, or, or whatever I decide that I want, I, I don't know at the moment, I'm just devastated again. Um, if you listen to the end, thank you, and um, I'll keep you updated.